Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad, and today you're going to get a three for one because I'm going to be opening up Pirates of Maracaibo. I'm also going to open up the playmat that comes for the game as well as the promo card. So let's just get it to the table and check them all out. Let's go ahead and open up the game first. So we're going to move the mat and the promo to the side. And let you get a good look at the cover here. Like it's got a nice pirate flag on the ship there. And you can see the back. Set sail for an adventurous raid for perhaps it will be your last. So one to four players, 14 and above for the age. About 25 minutes a player. And it says it is a standalone game, so you don't need regular Maracaibo. So the box actually has a really good feel on it. Um, can't tell if there's a linen finish on there or not. It might be. So we got a bunch of baggies here. So I'll just go ahead and open this up. So we've got our players here. So there's our ships. So we've got uh, green and blue, so that's important. But we also have yellow and black. Kind of surprised that uh, we don't have a red. So those are our ships. And throwing the ship in there just for a uh, size comparison. Here's our dice. And these are nice wooden rounded dice. These, I believe, are score markers. And then we have just our standard uh, cubes here. So gray, yellow, green, and white. So just a standard wooden, very small um, wooden cubes. Got a bag of baggies. Two decks of cards. Uh, I'm going to open those up in a little bit. I want to show off the rule book first. So you can see we have very colorful illustrations here. And this is common components. Player components for solo mode. Setup. Gameplay. End of a round, in game scoring, solo mode, introduction, setup for the solo, modules, glossary. So it's always good to have what the iconography means. Here is our board. That's nice. Really like the look of that. We have some punch outs. So we got our coins. Whoops. That wants the punch out already. Show the back there. Really like the artwork. More punch outs here. There's punch outs of figureheads, which uh, immediately I like that uh, skull one there. It looks pretty cool. Some more of the player boards, which want to pop right out. Let's see, I guess it doesn't really matter there. There's our tiles. Here are the ships. And 
and there's two of those. Oops, upside down. And that is it for the box. So now let's go ahead and open up the cards. Now I've gone ahead and separated them out by their card backs. So let's go ahead and just take a look at these. Let's see, there we go. Now the cards do not have a linen finish. In fact, they're a little on the slick side. So I think I might sleeve these. It's kind of a neat card back there. Shows a building there. It might be a residence. Again, really neat artwork on these. And not sure what that is supposed to be. Looks like maybe islands. Yeah, maybe islands. So we got uh, Tobago, which is a, another great game. Caraco, Bonaire, Granada, Barbados, Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take it. Uh, Montserrat and Trinidad. My apologies to the Beach Boy fans. These are number ones. So it's been a while since I've watched the playthrough of this. I'm assuming that the these are going to be the first cards that come out. And then uh, once these have been taken, probably put the number twos in maybe. These all look like crew. Ooh, there's a ship. Nice looking ship. Head upside down. And then finally, this is the biggest stack, these number twos. So it looks like they have some more islands there. Jamaica, another great game. Puerto Rico, another great game. Whoops. Put these upside down here. Wish the art was a little bit bigger, but I understand why. Crew in here, looks like. And now some more ships. And that is all of the cards. So now let's go ahead and open up the game mat. So the game mat comes in this nice box. Not a complete game, a copy of Pirates of Maracaibo is required to use this mat. So just kind of show the box off there. Looks like this is the same text that was on the back of the box. So it says it's 59 centimeters by 44. So this does have a really nice feel to it. It's got that uh, rubbery backing, so it's not going to slip. It's got the logo right there. So I'll just go ahead and put it down here. So there's no other instructions or anything that come with that. Um, 
but I know that the rule book is going to talk about how we're going to be laying these out. But you can see that the cards are going to be going in each of those spots. And the outlines of the card or the uh, spots there match the cards. So if you do sleeve these, you're probably going to have uh, some overlap. So might have to reconsider if I want to sleeve those or not. But uh, pretty sharp. Got some detail here. An octopus. Looks like you got some sharks. Maybe some seagulls. And then finally, I want to show the promo off. And I bought this at Gen Con. They were selling this for five bucks. So these are new figureheads. So it looks like we have a dolphin and we have maybe a hydra. Yep, dolphin and hydra right there. And you can see the back there. So that is a Pirates of Maracaibo, the mat and the promo figureheads. And we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that like and subscribe button. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook. And Twitter at Dad v. Daughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks.